and welcome to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter and today we are working on a new resin project y'all know i love to bring new things to you guys so today we're working on something new yay okay but before i take you down and before we get started as always Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content. And we're always uploading new content. So, with no more further ado, also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, for subscribing, commenting, everything that you do here at the channel. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And so, with no more further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take you down, okay? All right, guys, so today I'm going to make my first tumbler. I have been asked several times by so many different people, um, do I make these? And my answer will always be no. I'm not into making the tumblers um, as of yet. I plan on getting into it. However, I just haven't done it yet. So we are going to make our first one today, and I'm going to make it with you. So... With no more further ado, from what I'm understanding is a step process. So the first step is to um, is to wipe it off with alcohol and then to sand it and I guess to wipe it off again. So we are going to get some alcohol and we are going to wipe this off. And so I have my alcohol here. 70% alcohol and we're just going to put some onto this paper towel and wipe our tumbler off cleaning off any debris or anything that could be on here making it dirty we're just going to clean it down And wipe it down good all right and so there we have it nice and clean everything is wiped down okay it's pretty dirty so the next thing we are going to do is use our tape so this will be an unboxing because I haven't used the machine and to my understanding I was told to put the little thing in there so we're gonna do that first before we tape okay so we're gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna get the spinner hold tight okay so here is the spinner that I bought it is by Moss Brothers Moss Bros and it's a single cup turning machine I bought this because I do not want to sit and turn it by myself do a manual I've seen people create and make manual turners that you can do there's videos out there that'll show you how to do that i did not want to go that route i wanted to invest in me a machine that did it for me um and so that's what i have here i bought it off of amazon for um i want to say about i want to say about 30 roughly about 30 bucks 30 35 dollars off of Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description box below when I upload all the materials that you're going to need for this project. All right, so we're going to unbox it because we're going to have to put the um put the sponge thing down in there so that we can um get it ready to be on go on the machine. So it comes with the instruction manual little piece of paper in here and I bought red because the oven that I use is red it has different size sponges that you can use for different size cups little foam sizers they're really hard so you have all these different sizes that you can use for different size cups okay and the way that this cup is made I'm assuming we probably 
will be using this one. This is not, this is like the medium one. So you have the large. And I'll just set them on top here so you can see them all. So you have the large, the medium, the small, and then an even smaller one, okay? And I'll move, move my box out of the way so that you can see them a little bit better, okay? So you have a medium, a large, large, medium, small, and then kind of like a extra small. And the way I'm looking at the bottom of my tumbler, I want to say we probably going to need to use this medium medium size to kind of fit down in there. This is going to be too big. This might be too small. And so we're going to use the medium size. We'll set the other ones to the side. Now we're going to go ahead, figure out we're going to use this side. We're going to go ahead and take the materials out of the box. I don't know what this is. We're going to open it up and see what what this is okay so these are like the extension poles a screw so we have an extension pole you have another extension for it. And then this is the actual machine. And there you have it. So this will plug up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged up. So it comes with its plug. Plug it up to the outlet here. It's a three-prong plug, so you gotta make sure you your your outlets have can fit three-prong plug, okay? Now I need to see how you do what you do. So basically you're going to put put the extender into into the phone and then you're going to place the phone and the extender into the cup nice and tight and I chose this one I went with this one because the reviews were excellent all of the reviews as far as the turn or not giving out after a while just kind of want to make sure it's on there good and it's not moving anywhere okay and so that's that clockwise to lock and so you can do two you can put one here and I'm assuming you would do that with the screw some kind of way Oh yeah, so it has like this little bottom part. I don't know if it goes how this mechanism works, but oh, looks like it. Cause you can do two two cups, I believe, at once, or lock it on like so, and then have a cup up here. So I think you can do like two cups at once. But what it do, you put the cup in, we have it. You use it to decorate your cup, spray it, whatever. Then when you get ready to pour your epoxy resin, you loosen up the screw here. Oh, it's already turning. Okay, we want to turn that off. You loosen up the screw. I loosen it up a little bit too much. Slide that on like so and you tighten the adjustment screw like so tighten the adjustment screw here as tight as you can get it and 
it turns the cup like so. And then you can decorate it and do all the stuff that you need to do for it. It's quite quiet. Um, and so this one, I'm assuming you can use to like for the cup to dry if you're working on several at a time. So that's pretty cool. Do that screw in there? It does. Okay. So some kind of way this mechanism screws in there. And then you have two that you can kind of tighten up. And it does what it do. Okay. So we're going to turn this off and get started on decorating our cup. So I'm going to take it off. Set the, mach set the machine to the side. And then we're going to get started. This machine, I got it. It can sit inside of the um, resin oven so that the cup will, can cure. And I think, I don't know how that's going to do, but we're going to try it. All right, we got that back on. So this is our cup, and we're going to get ready to prep it and get it ready for... Um, to turn. All right, so we have our cup. We've already wiped it down. I'm going to go ahead and place my tape around the top part of the cup so that I can keep a nice tight seal around around it and so I'm going to turn it down so I can kind of have a better angle and I've seen people use like two round things to kind of keep it in place like so So I just want a little bit of my edge. And I'm gonna take that around. And the tip was to put the, that Electrical tape was better. And I just want to make sure this is straight so I can get it. It's almost perfect. Alrighty. Um, to put the electrical tape around, we'll put the sponge in it first because it likes to grip the electrical tape or whatever tape you're going to use. Put the sponge in it first and then tape it. And so that's what we did. Now, what I didn't know is if I was to, if I'm going to tape it, then sand it because that part I didn't really know per se. So we just gonna learn that part on our own now she did say fold this and make a little tab here so that when it comes time to peel it back it peels it peels back we can grab it and it'll peel peel off nice and smooth so I'm just gonna take this into the into the edge here and then that's going to be my little corner that I can pull back. And that looks pretty, pretty nice. Pretty decent. Nope, it's kind of off a little bit. Now that I'm looking at it like right here. So we got to bring that down just a little bit. Not that much. 
So I think this is one of like the difficult part is making sure that you you taping it off evenly. Taping it off evenly. And it looks kind of even all the way around. It looks looks somewhat better. Okay. Take our time. I want to make sure that it's taped down so I can get that sharp edge and it can look professional. I'm going to do this all the way down the cut. And so now that we have that situated, our next step is to sand the cut. So I have my sanding block here and I'm going to hold it by the handle and I'm just going to sand the cup. So that the resin will have something to the paint, the resin, everything can adhere better to the cup. This is not the fun part <laughs> for me, but it has to be done. have roughed this up pretty good. And have sanded it. Pretty much all the cup, all the whole cup. Okay, so we've sanded it. Our next step is to paint it. So I'm going to take you outside so we can paint. Okay, we got our spray paint. One in a like golden yellow and then one with an orange. And this is going to be a gift for my cousin um, whom we just celebrated her birthday. is Wednesday, but I want to get one last gift for her. So we are going to go ahead and prepare to spray paint her cup. Starting with our yellow, I have the cup here. So this is our cup. Have it by the base. And I want it to go hmm, gold. I want it to be kind of ombre a little bit. So I'm going to spray the top part and they say do spurts instead of continuous spray so we're going to do spurts instead of continuous spray and you might have to matter of fact um, let me get some gloves on hold tight because I got my nails done whoa let me set my 
camera back up right. We are barely holding on onto this tripod. So I'm trying to hold tight. Hold tight that. Okay. So we're gonna go back to and she said do it in little spurts. So that's what we'll do. This is like a honey gold, honey yellow. It's not like bright yellow, but it's like a honey. And I guess you would go and spurt so that it doesn't build up or run. We don't have any runs. So you just kind of want to get it even. all the way okay and then that's gonna be the goal it looks pretty good Oh, I'm sorry guys, y'all can't even see it because I'm holding it down so low. But it looks pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> sorry about that. Now I'm going to come back with my yellow, I mean my orange, which we have here. It's nice and warm. I'm going to see if I can tilt this forward. And then I want the orange to be along the bottom. And just kind of ombre it into the yellow. Orange is her color. No. I'm gonna get all along the bottom. Just kind of ombre it up. Put this on the turner or leave it out so it can dry. Okay. Hold tight, we coming back. All right, so there is our finished sprayed cup. It is going to sit here on this turner at the top. This is like when you want to work on two. This one can be sitting here drying while you're working on the other one. So you see it's like an ombre a little bit. And so I'm going to glitter this baby up. It's going to be super cute for her. Put her name on it. Just so cute. I love it already. I love it already. I'm already liking it. So we're going to... um work on another one and i'll be back in a month all right guys so we are back with our tumbler and i want to put this um stencil 
over some of it just so that I can glitter it like this. So I'm going to try to attempt to tape it down so I can spray the, um, spray the adhesive to it. Spray the adhesive because I don't want it all over the cup. I just want it on some parts of the cup. And so we're going to tape the stencil onto it and then spray the adhesive and then take the stencil off and glitter it. And then I'm going to put her name on. We'll add the, the decals and everything else to it. So that is how I'm going to put the stencil on. And then I'm going to spray the um, adhesive and then peel, take the, the stencil off and then glitter it. So sit tight. Hold on one second. All right. So this is the adhesive I'm going to use, the Loctite. And it is the multi-purpose. Um, and I believe it's the 100. But it looked just like the one that we um, saw on the I saw on the uh, video so we're gonna use this and spray this and I have to take this outside to spray it so you guys won't see me spray it but just now I'm gonna spray it right on the areas where the stencil is I'm gonna try okay then I'm gonna come back and glitter it and so we'll see if it works um, I'm not sure I think you need to be outside with this Yeah, so we're going to go outside and spray it. Hold tight. Okay, so I just sprayed it. I'm going to gently remove the tape and the stencil. Without removing. And it's already like sticky. And I'm just not really liking that part. It's already sticky and peeling. So I don't know how well that's going to do with my glitter. But I didn't know it would be like that. Um, I mean, it's sticky, sticky. Uh, sticking to me. I'm trying to make sure it ain't nowhere near the glitter and so I'm just gonna glitter over it and see what it do see if it give me what I'm hoping for Doing a little bit more sticking than I would have liked, I guess. So that's an epic fail. That is an epic fail. And so I guess I'll just maybe spray it in another area. And y'all see that it just it just did not do what I needed it to do. I thought that would have worked, but no, it didn't. It didn't work as well. But um, it sticks. That's for sure. So I'm just gonna have to clean it up a little bit. Once I put the resin on it, maybe it'll do a little bit better. But I'm going to um, yeah, 
maybe put another little bit somewhere and put her name. I don't know. Weird. Hold tight. All right. So this is what I have thus far. So we're going to set this to the side and finish it up let this dry and then we'll polyurethane and then resin and go from there i don't know so far i don't like it i don't but we're gonna keep it moving okay all righty stay tuned all right guys we are back with our tumbler we have the glitter on here not really super, super happy with how the glitter technique went, but we're going to keep this moving. Hopefully, it'll come together and it'll look a lot nicer. So, right now, I'm mixing up about two ounces of resin into my mixing cup. We are using our clear epoxy resin from an epoxy resin store. And I got about two ounces that I am mixing right here and we're gonna go ahead and do our first coating onto our um, resin tumbler so I put it on here I'm gonna go ahead and start it to moving And this process in the video, they just apply it with their fingers. So that's what we're going to do with this first one. All right, so I have it mixed here pretty good. Let me just give it a little bit more mixing. All right. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and like pour the resin onto the cup like so and I guess you're supposed to just kind of smear it on here and this is super messy <laughs> but it feels pretty good and I have a silicone mat underneath here so that the resin will just kind of come off real simple, real easy. I'm going to do the bottom of it too. Okay, so I must say that it does make the glitter look better. It just makes it pop. So I'm just making sure we have enough. And I think that is enough. So you really don't need two ounces that might be enough to go on to my other cup as well so i'm just rubbing it on um i'm gonna put some along the bottom making sure that that's covered pretty good and we just want to make sure that everything has a coating on it that is smooth I guess it's going to level itself out um, as we as it turns. I'm just gonna put just a little bit more on here, just so that it is nice and even. But it looks nice, guys. It just makes it look so much more shinier. Now they say let it um let it turn for about um 30 minutes or so and then we're gonna come back and take the tape off of it 
I do want to hit it with the flame just to knock out any bubbles that may be in our resin so that it is nice and smooth. And we're just going to let it sit here and, and do what it do. So I do see a little spot that isn't quite. Let's see it right there. And I think that that helped. And then I'm going to come back with the fire just to knock out some of the bubbles. This is pretty. It really pops. I think that's enough actually so now I could pop this in the resin oven but I probably won't until the first 35 minutes or so and then I'll put peel off um, the tape and I've seen a little spot maybe like right up in here so I'm just gonna take it just a little bit and rub that out where it's make sure it's nice and covered and I'm just looking at it against the light making sure that everything is covered up and then we smoothen it out with fire any oh that gloss just make this cup look so much better uh, and then when I put the words on it hopefully it'll come out I wasn't too um, sold on this one but when I put this clear on it it just brought it to life so I'm low-key liking it um, a little bit better everything looks covered really good so we're gonna let that do what it do now I could put this in the resin oven but again I probably I'm probably gonna wait the 30 minutes and then after I peel the tape off the lip then I probably have put it in there so I can go ahead and coat the next um, project so you really don't need that much I poured a little bit too much resin because I have resin left over. So you probably can do this with like maybe one ounce. Because I still have probably about an ounce left. So one ounce should be enough. I over pour it. That's fine. But we're going to get this thing going just a little bit. And then I'll come back and show y'all the finished part of the next step. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we are back with our cup. We've taken the top part out. This came out so nice. So we're going to go ahead and put our letters on it. Um, I have one set already ready to um, kind of be put on here. And I'm going to put her, um, her little name that she uses for her Instagram on here. So I'm just going to place that place the wording on the cup this E I have to be really really careful when I place it down so that it will because I stretched it a bit I'm gonna make sure that it goes on smooth as I can possibly get it
Huh? Oh, sorry, guys. Got my grandbabies over. Oops. Let me make sure everything is sticking to the cup. As it should. I don't know where my little spatula is, but we're going to just take our time and make sure that everything is nice and smoothed out. These letters right here needs to be smooth. It's kind of weird along that um little dip, but I'm just gonna take my time and smooth those out, and that came out nice. So that is her little name on there. Make sure my letters is nice and smooth, and then on this side I'm gonna put some wording which we have right here and we're going to scrape that and then we're going to um, tape it and put our put our um, last coat of resin on it and it'll be done her cup will be finished so I'm going to make sure I'm able to pull everything up And these were cut on my Cricut Joy. You can use stickers, whatever you want to put on here, as long as it's kind of flat. Um, you can even put stones, I think. Um, you can glue them on here, maybe after the fact. You probably can glue stones on. Okay, that's not coming. Well, right there, just to make sure we get everything pulled up good. Without tearing, okay, we got this. And so I'm just gonna come. I see I got that on that side, so I kind of want to come, kind of like right here, and start laying. You see, I got the sugar bay there. So I kind of want to put this on this side. And we're going to start at the top. The one that says blessed, I don't want that to go on just yet. So I'm just going to... Because it was supposed to say I am blessed, but the I am part didn't come out right. So... It's just going to have blessed on there. Because I did not want to go back and recut this out again. Oh, not yet. And so what I'm probably going to do. Oh, it's coming up off the bottom. Great. I'm just rolling this upward. Oh, that's cute. I am worthy. I am grateful. I am loved. And then I'm going to put the blessed right in the middle. Like right there. She's a coffee drinker, so. And then that, there we have it. That's her cup. We're going to cover it. That came out cute. We're going to cover it with our resin here in a minute. So hold tight. All right, so now we got the embellishments on it. Put a couple of extra stickers to just clear, clean up some space make it nice and cohesive. I think that came out real pretty. So now we're going to take some electrical tape <clears throat> and tape around the rim of it. Again. But this time, instead of taping it right at it, we're going to tape right above, leaving a little bit out so that we can get a good seal 
a good seal. And I'm going to place it Place it as even as I can, but I just kind of want to use a little bit above. Can you guys see that? Yeah, a little bit above where the orange is so that it will seal, seal all that in for me. I'm going to try to make this as even as I can, going all the way around. No, we do it. We do it, Gigi. I'm, I'm recording. I'm, I'm doing a cup. <laughs> that was my grandson. All right, so that that looks pretty even all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that part. <clears throat> cut the tape and then fold it upward. Give it a little press and then fold it up. So that way I'll have a little tab to pull when it's time. Tuck that in. And that's going to seal your artwork and everything in when you put this next last glaze of resin on. So we got our spinner here. We're going to go ahead and attach the cup onto it. <clears throat> Go in there with TT. Thank you. Okay, I'm just cleaning my little silicone mat up here. This is what I'm going to <clears throat> be using to kind of keep it when the resin kind of flows, drips off of it. It drips onto the silicone part. It is so difficult to contain a three-year-old in time. Okay, so we're going to mix up some resin here. And um, hold tight. Okay, I'm going to have to move quick because I don't know how long the battery is going to last. So we have our <coughs> stickers on here. We've trimmed it with the adhesive tape so that we can put like a coating on here and we're going to go ahead and start coating the resin on top just like so coating it all over the cup giving it a nice coating of resin all over
I'm not sure. I'm just making sure we fill this cup up. Resin. And it's resin all over it. Okay. Now we're gonna let that spin for a bit. I had a little bit left over, so I'm gonna pour it into this mold. The spins is leveling out. That looks really, really good. <coughs> so we're going to let that spin. I'm going to hit it with the, um, with the, um, fire. <coughs> Taking out any bubbles. Then I'm going to let it sit on for about 40 minutes. Let it spin, come and remove the tape and go from there. So right now I do see a couple of bubbles in my resin. I'm just gonna let those come to the surface. As it spins, and just kind of torch them out. But this is looking so pretty. I did not like this cup in the beginning. Like it just, I don't know. But now I love it. It is so pretty. 
It came out so nice. It really did. Even the line, like this um, tape is everything. The electrical tape, guys, that's, that's a game. That's actually a tip right there because it just gives you such a crisp line. <clears throat> such a crisp line. And again, I'm just knocking out the bubbles as they surface to the top. I'll come back. Because I want this to be as clear as possible. This is so pretty. This came out uh, way better than I thought. Way better than I expected. And this is for her birthday. And then, of course, I'm going to do one for myself. So, I'm just wiping my glove because I'm going to use it again. I see a few minor little bubbles in the resin, so I'm just trying to clean up out of it, especially like around where the name is. Y'all, this is looking so beautiful to me. The colors, everything in it. She said orange was her favorite color, so... And then I just didn't want to do a straight orange. So you have, you can see a little bit of everything. The spray paint. You can see <clears throat> the glitter. And then the wording. It's just like you get a little bit of everything without, you know, missing out on anything. It is super, super nice. I'm just knocking the bubbles out as it turns because I want it to be perfect. I know if this turner quit turning on me, it's going back. And y'all see it like trying to stop. It's going to be going right back to the manufacturer. I still got a couple of little bubbles down here at the bottom. But it is so pretty. It's nice and glossy. It's nice and even. Like, this is super dope. I will be making another one. Definitely making another one. I'm just wiping up this resin that has come off the cup. So that it's just not a complete mess. But hey, we knew that it was going to drip. So it is what it is. But I'm going to clean up some of it. But that's pretty much it so far. We're going to set the timer. <clears throat> We're going to set the timer um, for a little bit and go from there. Uh -oh. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit so it don't be so messy. And it's time to clean. And we know 
probably going to have a drip, so that's fine. But yes, it's so pretty. I'm really loving this orange. Was trying to get like a honeycomb glitter effect to it, but yeah, it just wasn't gonna do it for me. So <clears throat> it just was not gonna let me win. I just see a, a bee traveling around the cup, so I'm just getting that excess off so that it don't be a bee traveling around my cup like it's doing again it'll level out and drip or do whatever it needs to do Bubbles that have came up to the surface by now. So it's just stripping right on off whatever isn't needed. I just need my decals to be clear, the wording to be clear, the color to be clear. And this is gorgeous. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to come back. And I'll show you the finished product. All right, so we are back and we are going to remove this tape from where it's at. I'm gonna think I'm gonna turn it off and maybe turn it so that I can remove this tape. And this is giving us a nice clean line around it. And we're going to keep it moving just like that. And it's just sealing in the artwork. So we're going to let this keep going. And we'll come back and check it. It should be done in a few hours. You feel alive right now, don't you? 